Hey everybody, this is Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Reliance School. I want to talk to you today about some tracking things. If you studied much on tracking, picked up a book, watched some videos, you'll often find that a lot of the guys that are out there teaching tracking, spend a lot of time doing the practice, are in arid environments where they've got a lot of sand, which I'm not saying makes it easy, just makes it easier. What I wanted to talk about today is some real fundamental things of tracking in leaf litter that will help you find your next deer, your next turkey, or the next person you're searching for. First thing you need to get in mind is when you're tracking, particularly in the leaf litter environment, the last thing you're going to see is a full track. It's got tread in it, it's got the outline of the track. That just very rarely happens in this environment. That doesn't mean it doesn't happen, it just very rarely happens. What we are looking for in this environment where there's a lot of leaf litter is a lot of disturbance. And what I mean by disturbance is, you can see behind me, there's a lot of leaf litter right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start at the top and I want you to note as I walk through what happens to the leaf litter. In essence, what we've got is baseline out here right now. The baseline is what everything looks like. Okay, you can imagine a sandy beach is the same way and this is why tracking on a sandy beach is real easy. Light comes down, is reflected off the particles of sand and when they get turned, moisture is gonna be a huge role player in whether light is reflected or not or it's captured. And so you get a different light contrast on the track itself. Here, particularly in a shadow like this, it's going to be hugely different. So in essence, what you're going to see here are a lot of shadows, the shadows that are cast by the leaf litter itself. So sunlight is coming down through the forest canopy, but also you have the leaves that are on the forest floor, and so shadows are going to be cast by what's there and what's not there. Also, when I kick the leaves up, what's going to happen is you're going to see a lot of moisture that's going to be kicked up so that you can see a lot of darkness on this baseline. So you can see the baseline here. If I kick that off, obviously you can see that big space, but nobody's gonna be making a spot like that. But you can probably see right down through here where I just walked. You can see how the leaves are starting to get overturned. That's the disturbance that I'm speaking of. What you can see is some of the leaves are turned on their side, which is gonna cast more shadow. Because they're turned up on the side, you're going to see more moisture on the bottom, which is going to appear more dark. If we were to come back a good three to four hours later on this particular day, a lot of those leaves are going to be dried out and you're not going to see this as easily. So aging is an important thing to consider. But let's walk down through here and you can see as I walk, for example, the, some of the leaves come up off of my feet, some of them stay, and as those leaves they get moved that make a huge difference in what we are seeing as a tracker. So there you go with a real fundamental look on tracking in leaf litter. Leaf litter is difficult at times and easier at other times. So what we want to do is make you have a better understanding of what's going on out here so that when you come out here you can look at the ground and read it like a book. It's not going to be that easy, but we can do it together. I can assure you that we'll help you out with that. Uh, if it helps you become a better hunter, better naturalist, so that you can provide for your family by getting more game. If you want to get that perfect photography shot, then we can help you with that. If you just want to come out and enjoy the woods and just learn more about what's going on around you, then we want to help you with that. If you want to join us and learn more about what we're doing, you can check out our Facebook page. We got a ton of stuff going on, on Facebook all the time. Check us out, obviously, on our website, naturereliance.org. We have a very active online school there where we do a ton of stuff uh, on our online school where we've got uh, students from all over the world literally studying with us online. And we really appreciate you and everybody else that follows us. As always, with Nature Reliance School, come on, join in, and let's learn together.